nation. Hebrew Kingdom Building. The faith. Give you the story how I got this lesson. Because it's funny because a deal had called me on my way from work on Friday. And he was like, Maury, what time are you gonna be at the uh, full moon search? Now mind you, I've been reminding y'all all week, right? <laughs> Maury forgot. I'm like, I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> Now, I'm saying that because on Wednesday, the most I gave him my lesson to speak that I thought was for him, for Shabbat. So I'm thinking like, man, I'm good. I can sleep in Friday. I ain't got nothing to worry about. But then I was like, man, was that for the full moon service? But it wasn't for the full moon service either. But when we got here in the full moon service, the most I had us bring out, we even, remember, we're going through Torah. We're going through the book of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, and Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Right? So we're in the book of Genesis and we're breaking down Noah. And as you're talking about Noah and Abraham, that's who he's comparing. Revelation starts flowing. It's so much that I was up here. I mean, it was hitting everybody. I'm like, man, that's deep. That's deep. But that is what birthed the message that we have today. And as I went home and I prayed, I talked to the Most High. Because what was brought out last night, it really ministered to me. It really, like it spoke to my Ruach, spoke to my spirit. And I began to talk to the Most High about it, like, man, y'all, you know, that's deep, man. You know what, you know, the fact of, of raising our level of faith to us knowing. And you will begin to share with me, basically, in this time and this season, he's elevating us. He's elevating us to deeper depths and deeper heights, higher heights. I said this and I'll say it again. You gotta get to where we going. Cause it's gonna be one day, you're gonna walk in here, and you're gonna be like, what in the world are they talking about? And you're not gonna know if you're not going along with us. It's not going to be time to catch up. Yahuwah is revealing these things quickly. Say quickly. When we first woke up, we thought we was just Hebrews. Like, man, we Hebrews, all praise the Yahuwah. Hallelujah. And then Yahuwah turned the light switch on and said, it's deeper than that. Not only are you not Hebrews, but ye are gods. Ye are Elohim. Now don't run out when I say that. Because Yahushua corrected the Pharisees and Sadducees about that. Because they were trying to stone Yahushua for claiming that he was God. Yahushua responded to them and said, Don't your scriptures say that ye are gods? See, we don't believe in a concept or a mindset that God is the only God. He is the only one we serve. But there's other ones. That's why he's called the God of all gods. The king of all kings. The Elohim of all Elohims. That's why he says the first commandment. Had no other gods before me. Now, we don't walk around here with the peace God, peace God. We don't do all that, that 5% stuff. Y'all probably don't know about that down here. We don't do that 5% stuff. But we recognize we're Elohim's through Yahushua Hamashiach. Hallelujah. 
So has the Most High is revealing to us revelation, not only of who we are, but what we are. Now he's raising our elevation of faith. Say faith. faith. And belief. belief. He's raising it from faith and belief to knowing. Say knowing. knowing. Because as we go through this, you're going to understand there's a difference between having faith and knowing. There's a difference between believing and knowing. Faith is designed to take us to a certain place. And once we get there, we got to go higher. Hallelujah. I ain't going to get ahead of my lesson. We just going we gonna, we to bring this thing out. The faith to know. Say no. no. The faith to know Yah. Advancing to new levels. Y'all ready? Yes, sir. Let's build. Hebrews <coughs> chapter 11, verse 6. So what we like to do is lay a foundation, right? Because you can't build no house without a solid foundation, right? right? So here we like to lay the foundation down so we can build on top of it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The first layer of the foundation is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. It reads, and without... Faith. Say without faith. without faith. Without faith it is impossible to please him. For whoever would draw near to Yah must believe that he exists and that he is the reward of those that seek him. So without faith it's impossible to please Yah. So we're not diminishing faith. You have to have faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yahushua even said, when I come back, will I find faith on what? Earth. Earth. But as we're going to see, faith was designed. It's not canceled out, but it's designed to take us to a certain place. Yeah, I stayed up all night on this. I, I was, told you I was going to come here wired. Faith is designed to take us to a certain place. And we have to make sure we go to that place once faith takes us there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's keep building. Hosea chapter 6, verse 3. Hosea chapter 6, verse 3. Don't take my word for it. Make sure you got your Bible. Make sure I'm saying what the Bible says. You just can't take my words. You got to take the Mosiah's word for it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hosea chapter 6, verse 3. Let us know. Say no. No. Let us press on to know Yahuwah, or as some call the Lord. His going out is sure as the dawn. He will come to us as the showers, as the spring rains that water the earth. No. Say no. No. That's what it's about. It's about knowing. It's beyond belief. Now you got to come to a point where you know you who are going to do it. Hallelujah. You ain't just believing. You know it. All right, we're going to get to it. Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23 through 24. Jeremiah chapter 9, verses 23 through 24. Thus saith Yahuwah, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. But let him that glory, glory in this. That he understandeth and knoweth me. That him is supposed to be a capital. That's you. That he understandeth and knoweth me. That I am Yahuwah, which exercise love and kindness and judgment and righteousness in the earth. For when these things I delight, saith Yahuwah. So the most important thing is that you know Yahuwah. You know the most high. Is that the most important thing? No. The most important thing is that he know you too. Oh, see Matthew chapter five, I believe, or seven. It says many gonna come to him in that day and say, "Yahuwah, we know you. 
But he gonna say, the call for me. I never knew you. I can't get in the White House if I know Biden. If Biden know me, I get in though. I go up there, yo, I know Biden, that's my, I grew up around the way with him, son. I, that's my man. Security gonna look at me crazy like, what? I don't care. So I grew up with Biden, man. We, we, man, we played basketball together all day. They don't care. But if Biden come out, Kawara, it's Bobby. <laughs> I skip past security and everything. Why? Because it's more important that he knows me than I know him. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care nothing about Biden knowing me. I don't, I don't rock with Biden. We know. Hallelujah. Yeah. John chapter 17, oh, yeah. verses 1 through 7, and then we're going to skip down to verse 25 through 26. Now remember, this is the prayer of Yahushua. This is a very important prayer. This is what we pray every day. Hallelujah. I'm going to still pray in John 17. Make sure you're praying that. That's a prayer. That, that was Yahushua. Some people don't even know that was Yahushua's prayer. Some people think it was the Our Father prayer. He said that. But he, the whole chapter 17 is in prayer. John chapter 17, starting at verse 1. These words spake Yahushua and lifted up his eyes to the Shemaim to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son that thy son also may glorify thee. As thou hast given him power over all flesh that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal. Check out what life eternal is. That they might know thee the only true Elohim in Yahushua Hamashiach whom thou has sent. What's the eternal life? No. That you know him. No, no, no. It said that you believe in him. No. I have glorified thee on earth. I have finished the work which thou givest me. To do. And now, O oh Father, glorify thou me with thy own self, with the glory which I had before. Say before. Before, before the world was. Oh, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about where you was at before this world was formed. Some of y'all think y'all just got here on the slave ships. But you was with the Father before you was in the womb of your mother. That's why the Bible says I knew you before you was in the womb of your mother. I called you by name. Yes. I have manifested thy name unto the man. Verse 6. Unto the man which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were and thou givest them me and they have kept thy word. Now, say now. Now, now, now they have known. Say no. known. Known that all things whatsoever thou hast givest me are of uh, the. It's important to know. Let's get down to verse 25. Oh righteous Father, the world hath not known thee. Did the world know? No. Oh righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me. And I've declared unto them thy name and will declare it that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them. Who is Yahushua talking to when he's praying this? Who is he talking about? Uh, uh, me. Say me. Because me. if you read through that, he's saying, I don't pray for those that's here. I also pray for those that believe their word through the testimony. That thou what? That thou get to know you. It's way deeper than believing you, y'all, but I want them to know him. Philippians chapter 3, verses 9 through 10. Philippians chapter 3, verse 9 through 10. Yeah, we're doing some spiritual exercise. And to be found in him, not having my own righteousness. This is Shaul or Paul talking. Which is of the law, but that which is through faith in Mashiach, the righteous, which is of Yah by faith. Now, some people will get that and say, see, righteousness can't come by the law. Nobody never said that. 
But the law shows you your sin, shows you how sinful you are, so it can take you to Yahushua, so he can make you righteous. Because without the law, you won't know what sin is. Paul even said, I would not know what covenant is, unless the Bible said, thou shalt not covenant. But I'm not made righteous by just taking the prescription. I got to take the medication too. Hallelujah. Verse 10. That I may know him. Say know him. know him. In the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable by his body and death. By his death. Unto his death. So do y'all see the pattern we see here? What does the most I want you to do? No. No. We're going we to build on it. We're going to build it. I just got to point you to do this because I want you to jump in the lesson. So I'm going to think I'm crazy. You say you don't have faith, never said that. But faith is taking you to a place where you got to know. Say no. No. First John chapter 3, verse 5 through 6. Or well, somebody suck their teeth because another scripture came up. It's you need. It's a lot more after this too. You know that he appeared in order to take away sins. Who are they talking about? Yahushua. And in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him keeps on sinning. Say sinning. He didn't say sin. He said sinning. Which means you make a lifestyle of it. Which means you make a continuous process of doing it. Which means you don't stop. That's what you do. You wake up and just think about sin. He didn't say sin. Because he said if you sin. You have a habit with the father. Which is Yahushua. But you don't have to sin. If you don't want to. Oh boy. You got to go look at that lesson. The struggle ain't real. Because you know what a golfer do? He golfs. What does a swimmer do? What, what does a runner, what does he do? What does a sinner do? So you make a practice of sinning, you are a sinner. A saint ain't just a sinner who fell down. And God will know. Oh, somebody's listening to that. On the way in. They trying to kill your body. That just ain't Bible. Because the Bible says, now unto him that is able to keep you from falling. And it presents you what? Faultless before the Father. Oh, boy. No one who abides in him keeps on sinning. No one who keeps on sinning has either seen him or known him. Why ain't say believe in him? You gotta know. Him. Say you gotta know. Him. Oh, but I believe. I, so did them people in Matthew seven who used to say, "I don't know you, bro." But did we cast out demons in your name? Remember that's what they gonna say. I went to I went to church every Sunday. Well, Sunday ain't my Sabbath. You shouldn't have went on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> the demons they believe and the Bible say they tremble but who knows you 1 John chapter 4 verses 6 through 8 1 John chapter 4 verses 6 through 8 the first sentence what does the first sentence say we are from Yah. Do you not know your bloodline? Let's look at me. Your bloodline didn't start with slavery. Your bloodline is as old as anybody in this world. Ancient. Oh, somebody said the world. We're going to talk about ancient today. It goes all the way back. Ancient times. So when you was kings, queens, so when you ruled the world, you walked, you talked, you teach other nations how to bathe because they ain't know how to wash, right? right. 
That your hair is so strong. That's why it grows up to the sun. Yes. Anything that's dead in the sun falls to the ground. Yes. So you don't need to be wearing your hair. You don't, you don't have to wear your hair straight. Man, you can if that. you want. But ain't knocking you if you do. But it's a beauty for your hair to grow up. It looks like trees. looks like plants. It looks like your body agrees with nature. But we try to conform to other nations and look like what they, when you don't understand, it ain't a pleasure for you to be in their presence. It's a pleasure for them to be in your presence. Because your bloodline goes beyond this foundation of this earth. It goes all the way to the heavens where you always said, I knew you before you. I even created you. I knew you before I even created the first man on earth because you've been sitting in heavenly places with me ever since the beginning. So John starts out to say, hey, we from you who? Come on. So, see, you got to understand Yahushua, right? The, the four Gospels, it breaks down Yahushua, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, right? So, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, each Gospel except one gives you a genealogy. That's right. Right? Only book that don't give you a genealogy is Mark, and there's a reason. So in Matthew, Yahushua is painted as a king. Say king. king. In Mark, he's painted as a servant. Say servant. servant. In Luke, he's painted, he's uh, portrayed as a mere man. Say man. man. And then in John, he's shown. As you who. So we see the genealogy of Matthew and Luke because there's always a genealogy for a king, and it shows you. And Luke, as a man, he shows you the genealogy. There's no genealogy in Mark because in Hebrew culture, they really don't give a genealogy to a servant because the servant wasn't important. But in John, do we see a genealogy? Of course we do. First John chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with Yah. And the word was Yah. He was in the beginning with Yah. All things were made through him. And without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life. And the light was in the light of men. And the light shined in darkness. But darkness could not comprehend it. That's the genealogy. As Yah. So the Most High is even showing us as Elohim's, here's your genealogy. We are from Yahweh. Whoever no. believes Yah, no. whoever trusts in Yah, no. whoever knows Yah, listens to us. Oh, you that know it's going to get deep, Yah. I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. You know, I like to take you all the way around, right? I could just take you right there. I like for you to get it and get an understanding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whoever knows y'all listen to us. Whoever is not from y'all does not listen to us. So there's a seed in this earth that's not from y'all. By this we know. Say no. no. The spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Beloved. Beloved. Say beloved. beloved. Come on beloved. Let us love one another. For love is from y'all. And whoever loves has been born of Yah and no. believes, no. trusts, no. and knows Yah. Anyone who does not love does not no. know Yah because Yah is love. No. Oh. First John, I told you I got some more. 1 John chapter 5, verse 18 through 21. We know that everyone who is born of Yah does not keep sinning. Oh boy. Folks don't like 1 John. He call this stuff out. No, no, no. I, I love Yah. But I just, I, you know, I got a lifestyle of sin. You know, I keep falling. Nah. You need to fix that, repent, and change. That's right. 
Hallelujah. Because any man that's born of Yah doesn't make a lifestyle of sin. But he who is born of Yah protects him and the evil one does not touch him. We know that we are from Yah and the whole world lies in the power of the evil one. And we know, say we know, that the son of Yah has come and given us an understanding so that we may no. Know him who is true, and we are in him who is true, and in his son, Yahusha Hamashiach. He is the true Elohim and eternal life. Little children, keep yourself from idols. You ready? Jeremiah chapter 24, verses 6 through 7. I will set my eyes on them for good and I will bring them back to this land. I will build them up and not tear them down. I will plant them and not pluck them up. I will give them a heart to know me. say no, know me. to know that I am your that they shall be my people and I will be their Elohim for they shall return to me with their whole heart. See, once you get to know him, you won't be able to turn to him with your whole heart. And that's when people are going to start thinking you weird. People are going to start cutting you off. Yo, yeah, he, 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 don't, he don't do this. He, you're supposed to do that. Because you Kodesh, you separate. You born of Elohim. I'm a Elohim, but I don't like doing that. I'm a king. You're a queen, but I look like doing something like that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, if somebody would have told us we was kings and queens early in life, we won't be in the predicament that we in. Somebody would go out and tell them brothers staying on the street corner, which we do. Hey, do you know you come from royalty? You out here selling poison to your brothers and sisters. You come from royalty. You a king. You a queen. You a royal priesthood. You a holy nation. You set aside yes. something special about you. Yes. You put flavor on everything you do. Yes. You don't just play basketball. You got to dribble. You got to cross over. You got to. Come on. Yes. Add flavor. Say flavor. flavor. That's why the Bible calls you the salt of the earth. Yes. But if the salt loses flavor, what good is it? Did I read all that? John chapter 8. I think it's the last verse. I said I think too, so don't call me a liar. <laughs> John chapter 8, verse 31 through 32, and we're going to skip down to two verses 54 and 55. So Yahushua said to the Yahudin or the Jews who believed him, say believed him. If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples. And you will no. know, say no. no. Know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Skip down to verse 54. You should answer. If I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. It is my Father who glorifies me, of whom you say he is our Elohim or our God. But you have not known him. I say no. no. But you have not known him. I know him. If I were to say that I do not know him, I would be a liar like you, but I do know him and I keep his word. So even Yahushua, Yahushua even had to get him to know him. See, but the thing about Yahushua, he recognized, he tapped in, he realized, I'm an extension of something down here. Because remember, he had to learn everything. He laid down all he knew and learned everything back from what he knew in eternity. That's you. You've been in eternity, you just sit down here, now you got to relearn everything. 
So stuff is not hidden from you. It's actually in you, but it's buried, and now it's coming out. Man, yeah, I help you see. John, there's a, I got some more. John chapter 14, verse 4 through 9. And you what? And you believe? And you pray? And you know the way to where I'm going. The ego Thomas. Thomas said to him, Adonai, we don't know where you are going. How can we know the way? Yahushua said to him, what Yahushua say to him? I am the way. I am the truth and I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said, Adonai, show us the Father. I know you lose your heart. God. I just told these dudes. See, I think you should have just explain this stuff as they ex Yes, Philip. No, you should have. Remember when he came down from the Mount Church of Liberation? Man gave to him, was like, yo, I brought my son to your disciples. They couldn't cast a demon out. This how you, <sighs> you wicked generation. Y'all know what people do. Bring the boy with me. Come on. <laughs> That's how you usually was. That's how, read it. You pray, come on, bring the boy. He ain't even play with the demon either. As soon as the demon came over, he started to try to throw himself, he contort and all that. He was like, come on, stop. I ain't quit on him, stop, come on. You got time for this, man? And then what the disciples do right after that? They went, after he cast the Ruach out, they said, yo, why we couldn't cast it out? He said, because he don't believe. I've been with you for three years. Come on, man. That's what he said. He just said to me, come on, come on, man. I've been with you for three years. Same yet, some of y'all been in this truth for three years. Ain't nothing about you change. Wow. Oh, you think you up there just chilling? Nah, he's like, come on, man. Wow. Oh, they was loving that, that story until I brought it home. <laughs> you just said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. You had not known me. If you would have known me, you would have known my Father also. From now on, you do know him, and I've seen him. Here go Philip. Philip said right after Thomas, I don't know, show us the Father. And it is enough for us. So he's like, then we believe. Right, right. Yusha said to him, Have I been with you so long and you still don't know me, Philip? Why he didn't say you still don't believe me? Because it's deeper than belief. Because they believed him, but they really ain't know him. Whosoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show me the Father? Didn't I just talk to Thomas about this? Get your mind. Peter, Philip, go on. Go on, Philip. Y'all think who she was like that? Y'all forgot he went in the tip and flipped over tables? He was whooping people, whooping grown men with a belly. I respect you, who should I love him? He's my master. And ain't no grown man gonna hit me with But they was <laughs> They back and they still are. Ah. Ah. And I told y'all you should have them hands. You should know how to fight. Hallelujah. You want no sucker, you want no poop. He didn't dip through the crowd because he was scared. He dipped through the crowd because he knew if I turn up, it's over. I sent a legion of angels to wipe this whole joint out. If one of y'all hit me with a rock, it's over. <laughs> Tell him, don't hit me with no rock. But you know what? Let me slip away before I turn this whole thing out. Time to advance. Exodus chapter 14, verses 14 through 15. Yahuwah will fight for you, and you have only to be silent. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, why do you cry to me? Tell the people of Israel to go forward in advance. 
Remember, they stood at the Red Sea. Israel, y'all, come on. If, 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 if you don't read the Bible, know they black people, come on. The Most High just delivered y'all out of Egypt. Ten plagues, y'all kept. Right when they come out of Egypt and get to the Red Sea, they start to play. Man. Man, I know he ain't just bring. Did he just bring us out here to the sea? Then come on, Moses is trapping. I knew it. And what do you always say, man? Why y'all crying to me, man? Right. Advance, say advance. Some of y'all crying to the most high for things and all you need to do is advance. Some of y'all crying, looking for the most high to fix things. All you got to do is get closer to him. Yes. But see, some of us think that we can just get stuff from y'all and we ain't got to give them nothing. It's like a give and take relationship. A lot of us take, take from y'all. Take, take. Y'all, give me this. Give me this. Give me that. And by grace, he give it to you, but he ain't going to give you everything that's promised to you if you ain't obeying what he said to do. And then you got the nerve to get mad at the most high when he don't give it to you. Where they do that at? People don't want to treat their mama like that. But they gonna treat the heavenly father like that? Oh yeah, man, you yeah, you get me this job, man. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna serve you for the rest of my days. Y'all ain't heard from you since you got the job. Y'all, you, you, man, y'all, when you let me get this, I'm going to love you for the rest of my days. Ever since you got it, he ain't heard from you. He like, man, I thought he said he's going to, I got it, don't worry, I'm, I'm going to take care of him. All right. You might be getting by, but you ain't going to get away. You're going to get his peace. And he's so... He's so nice. He'll let you get all the way to this point where you think you're about to get to, and then everything will crumble. Because he wants to remind you can't do nothing without me. You need me. And this little basic surface relationship ain't going to do it enough. You got to go deeper and higher in me. You got to get to know me. Say no. Know me. Yahuwah in this season is charging us to advance, to go forward in all aspects of our relationship and our walk with him. See, the now you lay me down to sleep ain't gonna be enough no more. Hallelujah. It was a time where that prayer gave you peace, right? Like, man, but for some reason you can't shake it no more now. It's like, I need more. That's the most I'm backing away from you. And you still standing in one spot. And you begging, y'all, come rescue me. He like, come advance. Advance. And I'm right here. I'll protect you. Advance. Come. The Bible says you draw close to him, he'll draw close to you. The Bible says resist the devil, he'll flee. You, re you resist y'all, he ain't fleeing, but everything gonna crumble in your life. Advance in prayer. Say prayer. prayer. We just talked about that. That is your communication with the most high. How you have a relationship with somebody you ain't never communicate with? When I talk to, when I used to talk to my, my, my wife now and other girls back in history, when I used to talk to them, I used to have to have a phone conversation with them. If not, there ain't gonna be no type of relationship. I had to at least acknowledge them each day if I claim this is my girlfriend or my woman. Hallelujah. But how we expect we have a relationship with y'all when we don't communicate with him? Fasting, say fasting. fasting. We're not talking about starving yourself. We're not talking about losing weight. We're talking about fasting. There's a biblical way to fast. And you don't fast to get things. Ah. You don't fast to get stuff. I'm a fan. I need this car. I'm going to go on the fast. You fast 21 days, you still walking. 
I'm so tired and thirsty. I'm going to fast. Because fasting don't get, it don't move the most high. Because the Bible says your good deeds are like 50 rags to him. Nothing you do can impress him. So why do you think you, your righteousness can cause him to move? No, your obedience is what causes him to move. Your faith in getting to know him is what causes him to move. Not what you do. Man, I'm going to fast. Man, I'm going to go to service three times this week. Because I need this car. You always need something from y'all. You just don't do it out of love. That's why you really don't love y'all. You love y'all based off what he can give you. You got to have a relationship with in spite of y'all. In spite of what you do, I still trust you and love you. Because he still love you even though you crazy. He still love you even though you did. You turned your back on him 40 times. He still love you. But as soon as you don't answer one prayer, man. Man, I'm, like, man, I'm, going, I'm going back. I'm, man, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my own thing now. And as soon as it crumbles, man, oh, y'all, please help me. No. The Bible says the most high is going to laugh at you when you come to him like that. Yeah, the most high got a sense of humor. He said, when you fall in your calamity, I'm going to laugh. Because when I reached out my arm and get you, you would not come. Right. <laughs> Told you one time I was praying for somebody, asking the Most High to fix something for him. Most High laughed. Mm -hmm. I ain't telling that. <laughs> but I just said, hey, just keep keep praying. <laughs> <laughs> the Most High here, he prayed to himself, wait. Cause he had like a he, you know, if I could describe it, it was more like a, like when I had I said, you know, most high, I forgot what I exactly what he was praying for. I think it was I think it was for healing for something. It wasn't nothing major. I said to me, most high, heal the heal the body, restore, make a whole most high spirit. Did you just laugh? <laughs> Made you heal her. I said Jesus. He get back to you. Just keep. keep going. <laughs> time, say time. time. Time with Yah. Some of y'all are so stingy with your time, where you only give the most high minutes of your day, when He's giving you a whole twenty-four hours. You can't even give him an hour. You can't dedicate an hour or two hours to sit down, praying, reading your world, talking to him. Some of you used to do that. He said, I miss my time with you. It used to be a meeting time you used to have with y'all. We used to meet with you. You pray, you read your work. But now, the most I'm still waiting at that spot and you never show up. You're too busy with the cares of life. You're focusing on your resources instead of the main source. You're turning your resources into your main source and you're turning your main source to a resource. So you use Yah when you need it. Time. Let me say, yeah, we just did a message on time. Time is the most valuable asset you have. Time is more valuable than money. And actually, you need time to make money. If you lose money, you can get money back. If you lose time, it's going forever. So you either wasting time or you invest in time. If you waste time, you can never get it back. It's gone. But if you invest time, it always pays you back later. Why? Because your time. I remember when I worked at the um, as a juvenile probation officer, I used to tell the young kings there, I say, listen, your time, because they used to be locked up in the jail. I used to have to go in the jail and see them. I say, listen, man, this ain't a waste of your time right now. You you being locked up in. Whether it's two years, three years, this is not a waste of time. What you do when you get out of here is going to determine if it was a waste of time or not. 
But if you get out of here and you do the same thing and come back, then yeah, all this was a waste of time. But if you get out, change, change your mindset, change everything about you, and you become a better man or woman, then this was an investment of time. Because that's time paying you back. I always ask myself the question, is what I'm doing, is it a waste of time or is it an investment of my time? Because I don't like to waste my time. My time is valuable. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why some foolishness I just don't respond to. Some stuff I just don't even give time to. Because my time is valuable. But how do you treat your time? Do you treat your time like real jewelry or costume jewelry? Costume jewelry, you just throw on a dresser. You care less. But that real, them pearls, them, that gold, you lock away. You got insurance on and everything. How do you treat your time? It's time to advance. Go ahead. Uh, real quick on time. Um, spending time with Yahuwah is actually trading your time in for eternity. Hallelujah. Y'all know the scripture says that one day with Yahuwah is as a, of a thousand years. We all live under the construct of time. But when we spend time with God, we leave time. Yeah. So if y'all look at Exodus 14, 14 and 15, when he says, Why do you cry to me? But just in Exodus 7, what did he say to Moshe? He said, I made you an Elohim. He just said he made him Elohim. Elohim don't live in time. Oh. Elohims don't live in time. So we talking about tapping into your Elohim gene, spending time with y'all. This is how you get to know y'all. Really, everything he just listed: prayer, fasting, time. This is how we build a relationship. This is how we communicate. And we make our sacrifices and we fast. And we don't eat on the food. We don't eat on the food that's for the human. No. We eat on the food that's for the Elohim. Yes. All of this is teaching us how to be and tap into that Elohim gene. Right. All of this is teaching us how to be outside of time. Right. So spending time with Yahuwah is actually trading your time in for eternity. Because to know him is eternity. Hallelujah. 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 So, let me get a quick drink real quick. Mm. That's some good lemonade. Time to advance from faith to what? To know it. I'm going to explain that. What even work? You keep saying that. Well, I, what you mean? Just wait. Be patient. Advance in your patience, too. <laughs> Y'all will no longer be satisfied with giving you milk to drink. It's time to level up in our expectations of what Y'all will and can do. Now, Coach Miriam told me a dream one time. And as you was giving this to me, that dream came to mind. And in her dream, and I can see the dream manifesting now. In the dream, she stated how I was in a room and giving milk to children, but then I ran out of milk. And then she said, right before the dream, man, that Jesus heard a voice said, no more milk for the babies. That's how it went, right? No more milk for the babies. Now this was, what, about two months ago? A month and a half? Right after the fast, God. No more milk for the babes. No more milk for the babes. Because lately, the most high has been giving us. Oh, yeah. Yes. Steak. Steak. <laughs> with season with yeah. the garlic. Yeah. 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 It's rough. It's rough. It's smooth. It's slow. <laughs> 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 I'm 
baby, she cooks some steak now. Woo. Uh, Girl, garlic butter. Uh, I fall in love with her all over again. This <laughs> just did. I think I had to see the steak. All right, come back, come back. Come back, focus. All right, y'all will no longer be satisfied with giving you milk to drink. It's time to level up in our expectations of what y'all will do for you. No more of the surface relationship. No more of the surface things. Y'all, in order to reach y'all now, you got to go deeper. You got to get a relationship with y'all. Believing, say believing. Believing in y'all. How do people believe in y'all? So, so do the devils. So does Satan. Satan believes y'all. But it's another love. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 16. And without faith, say without faith. It is impossible to please him, for whoever will draw near to Yah must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Now, even though I go through all this, I have no way shape. Let me give a disclaimer saying that faith is irrelevant, it's done. No, because you need faith to get you to this point. But once you get to this point, you have to be here, and Yah's not going to want any less of that. Faith is very important to have. Especially in his last day. When Yahushua returns, he wants to find faith on earth. Faith is believing without fully knowing a thing. Right. Right. Oh. Right. Faith is believing without fully knowing a thing, but having some form of knowledge about it and standing on the little that you know. Can we read that again? Yes. Faith is believing without fully knowing a thing, but having some form of knowledge about it and standing on the little that you know. Case in point. When you first, someone first told you, hey, you Israel, you come from royalty. That little trigger of knowledge, you didn't know the full scope of it. You didn't know the full grasp of it. But based off that little knowledge, you believed what you knew based off what you knew. And then as you study more, as you seek out more, your knowledge beginning, your faith beginning to increase. Therefore, your knowledge beginning to increase. Because there was a time when people would tell you, oh, you Israel. You'd be like, word? Wow. Now it's to a point where nobody can't tell me I'm not Israel because now I don't just believe I'm Israel. I know. Come on. Right. Right. That's why I don't have those arguments no more. Like I don't, I don't, I really don't try to convince people who we are because it's 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 right there. All you gotta do is research. And I used to when I first started, I used to try to break it down to people you know, who we are. Boom, boom, boom. Especially. Breaking down the term, I'm like, man, I'm not, man, no. I'm done. I don't argue on Facebook about nothing. I just block you. Hey, I'm not time for this. My time is valuable. Hallelujah. Something I got time to be sitting in front of a keyboard and debating for. I don't got time for that. It's my page. Move around. Hallelujah. Do you know you don't have to argue with people if you don't want to? Because a fool don't want your wisdom. He wants your time. Can I say that again? A fool don't want your wisdom. He wants your time. And you will be a fool to give it to him. Remember that next time a fool will come your way. So if you don't listen to Moray Kawal, but you up here every day after Shabbat, if the shoe fits, oh, I ain't gonna be wasting my time. You gotta make me a fool. Boy, that's just how, boy, that's just how some people feel. Thank you. Faith is designed by y'all to take you, listen, listen, this is important. 
Faith is designed by Yah to take you to a certain point in your life. Romans chapter 1 verse 17. So that you will be able to gain knowledge about what you have faith in. How we read it. Faith is designed by Yah to take you to a certain point in your life. So that you will be able to gain knowledge about what you have faith in. So the Bible says we move from what? Faith to faith. Elder brought that out the other day. Glory to glory. As we continue to believe and trust in Yah, that wasn't me him, I messed up. Despite our circumstances or situations, the better we get to know him. I'm sorry, let me read that. As we continue to believe and trust in Yah, despite our circumstances or situations, the better we get to know him. And the better we know him, the more faith will be built up about him to get to know him even more. I hope that makes sense. Yeah. 